Hello friends. My name is Manoj Bhuktani and I welcome you all on behalf of the Edupedia world. I believe you guys must be having a great time today. In our last presentation, we discussed about the topics relating to bond valuation. What are bonds? What are the key terms relating to bonds? And the difference between a bond and a debenture. The key terms for which we discussed in our last presentation involved power value, coupon rate, maturity date, call date, call price, required return, yield to maturity and yield to call. I believe that you guys must have gone through that presentation as well and you guys are constantly revising the topics which are being taught in the presentations. So with that faith, we'll start this presentation relating with the topic valuation of bond. So guys, consider that we invest in a bond today at a current price of B0, let's suppose. Also consider that the bond gives a coupon rate of C1 in next one year, assuming that we would sell this bond at the end of one year from now at B1 we can calculate the return from bond with the formula return k equal to B1 minus B0 plus C1 divided by B0 so if let's suppose today the current price is rupees 100 and after a year, the amount of bond is rupees 110. So we'll be getting a capital gain of rupees 10 plus a coupon interest, which is 10% of the face value. That is rupees 10. So 10 plus 10 divided by 100 rupees. So we'll be getting a return of 20%. And supposedly now, if the same thing is being rearranged, we can say B0 is equal to C1 plus B1 divided by 1 plus K. We interpret this equation as the value of bond today is the present value of future inflows from that bond. Assuming that now the bond has two years maturity and if we buy the bond at the end of first year, at B1 let's suppose and if we sell that bond at the end of second year at B2 after we receive the coupon rate of C2 we can calculate the return earned in the second year as B2 minus B1 plus coupon rate which is provided to us after the end of second year divided by B1 that is the price at which we did purchase that bond after a period of one year so guys that's how we can value a bond with a return involving a period of one year and year two but the only problem with this year final examination question is you won't be getting easy questions like this at ca final level so if we'll have to calculate the valuation of a bond for a period which involves like infinity or a period more than two years three years five years ten years down the line how can we find the valuation of a bond? It's easy and simple. We'll have to first gouge and vouch out for present value index factor annuity return. So what does PVIFA, present value index factor annuity, annuity means? It's a factor which can be used to calculate the present value of a series of annuities. The calculation of PVIFA is based around the concept of time, value and money. This idea stipulates that the value of currency received today is worth more than the value of currency received at a future date. This is because of the currency received today may be invested and can the same thing generate the interest. Let's go back to the memories of our grandparents, grandmama, grandpapa and that time. So the kind of money they used to have, there at that point of time, we could 
we were yeah, actually able to purchase amount like enormous amount of quantities at rupees one but in today's world it is definitely not possible even to buy a normal chocolate at a price of rupees one so what's that thing it simply means that the value of rumi rupee is depreciating day in day out it simply means that the quantity of commodity which you are buying today with the same amount of money you cannot or you won't be able to buy the same amount of quantity for that commodity in future because the value of rupee is going to depreciate day in day out and with terms of like inflation definitely prices are going to get high and that also involves the interest rate payments as well so if in case we need to find out the value of bond we'll go with the formula of coupon rate multiplied by pvifa bracket the capital percentage like the amount of required return which a person expects to generate out of that investment with the number of years plus bn into pvif required return with the number of years where c means the coupon rate n means the number of periods bn means the maturity value and k means the yield that is the required return so guys let's understand this topic with the help of an example let us value a coupon bond given coupon interest at the end of year that is amounting to rupees inr 100 maturity value inr 1000 the number of periods involved is 12 years and the yield is equal to 5 percent per year so we'll be computing the valuation of the bond for a maturity period after 12 years so the value would be 100 rupees coupon rate after the end of each year with the present value interest rate factor n and what is for 5 percent yield with the number of period of 12 years plus 1000 rupees that will be received at the maturity into pvif for 12th year amounting to a yield of 5 percent the solution would be 100 into 8.863 plus 1000 into 0 0.557 that would amount to inr 1443.30 so we can see the value of bond with the maturity value of 1000 after a period of 12 years the today's present value for that bond is rupees 1443.30 the concept crux which is to be remembered while computing the valuation of a bond is that the coupons received every year are assumed to be reinvested at a rate which is equal to the expected yield. Therefore, we are earning interest on interest. It is part of the compounding process inherent in the nature of bond calculations. That is why you can easily say the value has been like rising from 1000 to 1443.30 in terms of overall valuation so now let's discuss about the relationship between a coupon rate the price of a bond and a yield what's the kind of relationship these three three key terminologies share so it's like if a 10 percent coupon bond with a face value of rupees 1000 with a five years maturity and a yield of 5% is involved, the value would be 1216.48. And if it has a yield of 10%, then the INR would be same as in case of face value, that is rupees 1000. And if in case the yield is more than 10%, which is equivalent to coupon rate, like more than 10%, it's like approximately 15%, the INR value would be 832.39. So, what we can conclude with this particular relationship, it's the simple concept and this would be, if in case the coupon rate is greater than yield, then the bond is going to be at premium. It is going to be so at premium and if in case the coupon is equivalent to yield, then the bond is going to be sold at par value, that is in this present case INR 1000. And if in case 
the coupon rate is less than the yield then in such a case the bond is going to be sold at discount value so guys that was all about the valuation of bonds and relationship between coupon rate price and yield in our next video presentations i'll be discussing about the premium and discount in the bond pricing the nominal yield current yield yield to maturity and other remaining related topics for this particular chapter bond valuation with this i'm going to conclude this video presentation with another dose of motivation that is in order to succeed we must first believe that we can it is you who has to first believe in your aspirations your dreams your desires then only you can prove the world that yes you can achieve what you believe and with this i would like to say goodbye and thank you on behalf of the edupedia world have a nice day guys we'll be meeting in the next video presentation take care good night